Hello everyone, I greet you all in Jesus mighty name and I hope you all are doing great today. Um, for those who are stressed out or frustrated or worried during this pandemic, please, especially if you know Jesus, put your trust in Jesus. I'm not stressed out, I'm not worried. Yes, I wish that things could return to as normal as possible you know as soon as possible and in jesus name i hope it will right okay so today's video is going to be a testimony and it's going to be about some rough stuff <laughs> so basically it's going to be testimony about um how i got deliverance from listeners um circular music fighting taxing pornography cursing and school parties so how am i going to start so those of you who have been listening and following up some of my previous videos especially testimony videos you would have heard me said more than once that i grew up in a god-fearing home so i grew up my mother's mother was a pastor my mother was sister well, she still do um, minister and stuff, so, but from young, I was a very strange child, let's say like that. Um, so, just to give you a little briefing is that I personally could, was, I was more moody then than now, <laughs> right? And usually when I get, got angry back then, it was a whole different story. Um, but you know certain things I never did like while I was in primary school and stuff and most of these things that I mentioned that I got deliverance from were introduced in um, or I started getting involved in those things in high school due to peer pressure and all these kind of things right so um, but the fighting part that was just me being my natural self so which one should i start off with um i already have two videos actually i had one in i have one in youtube that was a previous video that was done either in 2019 or somewhere there and then i have one on facebook which i did last year around this time if it was not june may april somewhere around there um I gave details about fighting and stuff. I'm not going to do that in this video because that was a really long video. So if you want to hear more about that, I could link it. And you click up a link for the YouTubers and I'll link it also in the description. Um, but just a little brief is that most of the times I fought in primary school and in high school, most of the times it was defending. But there was one time for sure that I recall in high school in particular it was not defending it was me trying to get to somebody else through a third party technically right so i started it i started fight they started their their yaps before that the years before they used to yap a lot so we had to to me something had to happen and it just happened but um other than that um in terms of taxing so for those who don't know what is taxing i don't know if they still call taxing in these days i mean pandemic now but before pandemic when students going to school taxing is basically when you're asking other students for money so you can either ask them politely or you could gangster them to get the money right um as i said gangster i should have mentioned gang or as, as well because people used to say that i was in a gang technically you could say that because a gang is really a group of people and whatever, whatever. but um we used to call it clip but my family used to say i hear you was in a gang so whatever um it used to be one of my cousins and then her friends and so forth we used to be chilling out and um but other than that um in terms of taxing i can't remember when i found myself taxing but it might have been around form two and form three right because form one to form three was the years that i really <laughs> did some foolish stuff but um 
I remember I taxed a few times and once I remember taxing, I would have made about 50 something dollars taxing other students. Now, I'm not encouraging this, I'm just sharing my story, right? Uh, so people would see that I don't come out here and try to play no scenes, you understand? I'm telling you, as it is, and today I have been really struggling to um, even talk. Not all of this, but just at least one thing in particular. I was struggling with to talk about what is sexy money, but God is good, right? Because if people don't know where you come from, you know, how they how you would be able to relate to others. So yes, I've I've done some stupid stuff. And um other than taxing and the fighting, I was also introduced to secular music in high school. I never used to listen to those things when I was in primary school. I used to more listen to gospel and those kind of things, but and on top of that, me being ashamed of Christ um, in those days and stuff, and I had like so much demons, I don't know the number. Like, I was never telling nobody nothing. Nobody knew, unless some neighbor, because I had neighbors who was in school, from school told them, but I never told anybody. I went to, I used to go to church, and my grandma was a pastor, my mother preached, I was kind of, so them knew nothing about that, unless somebody had told them. I didn't tell them of myself. Um, so, circular music, so I used to listen to dance or reggae, um, and I talk about gospel type, but I talk about the circular, um, soca, so like things like Vice Cartel, Movado, all them kind of music back in them days because I went to school between 2006 to 2013, which was seven years, right? Um, so um, I used to listen to those things, soca, whatever. And then, again, I was not these kind of students that will run. You know, it has students that they know they do not live in that kind of life because their parents are strict, because my grandmother was very strict. So it's not to say I used to run away or even, like, tell lies to go party and stuff. The only parties I would have actually attended would have been in high school. Um, well, most of the times I never used to be really dancing on him, but I used to attend parties and, um, what else? Um, I used to find myself in the middle of some serious wars. Like, I don't know <laughs> what I used to be doing, you know, and I'm, in school had something called judgment. There yeah, had times I would be defending. People would come to me to defend them. I had times, I had one of my school boyfriends, I would have tried to be, to, should I say, to stop some fellas from going for him. And they actually kind of, not that like they were totally listening to me, but like something just happened that they didn't really continue pursuing them. So I don't know. Like I had some kind of influence, I don't know, but I was also very popular in school. So most of the students who went to school within the time period that I mentioned would have known me. If they didn't know me personally, if we had no conversation personally, they knew they would have known my name. Because how some of them just call me out, even up to this day, I, I don't even know who called me, understand? <laughs> right? I would may know some faces and don't know some faces, but if most of the times they would have known me because I was very much known. So Different things, not just bad things, some good things as well. But I'm not talking about the good things, I'm talking about testimony. All right, so I spoke about tax, I spoke about fighting, I spoke about secular music, um, cursing of the language. Um, so let's say about form two or so when I start to use of the language. And the bad thing about it is that, um, it even ended up in my home and I know this is not something I really shared before and this is nothing to be proud of. I wish that did not happen. But all I can say is that I thank God for having mercy because if I did that back in the days when the Mozart law was still um applicable or whatever, I would have certainly been stoned to that. So yeah, I've had like confrontations with my mother, with my grandmother, while in high school, I think. But it wasn't because of high, just high school influence. As I said earlier on in this video, I had a serious anger 
from there and it was not like just something that I had it was a generational thing and for those who are in spiritual food to understand where it came from I had to go back to talk about certain things with certain grandparents and stuff which I don't want to talk about at this point in time right so only people who know my family will have an idea where all that rage used to come from but um yes I have cursed my mother once we have had some scrambles um I've also had a scramble with my grandmother because I never necessarily afraid people right so it really didn't matter when I was who I was back then I was who I was back then and you know one thing i could have said about me i never used to boast myself about things i still listen to I hear a lot of boasters and i know what tends to happen to people who boast and all so how people used to think in high school that i was probably you know used to call them ims and another one used to call them is punk like you can't do nothing but um me in particular um People would have um, perceived that about me, and I was so quiet. Anybody who knew me at least from form one to form three, and probably form four and so, you know, I was so quiet when I see me lying with one of my good friends. I hardly see them talk. So people probably thought I was this kind of, you know, bubbly. Anybody could do anything until some of them actually learned their lesson. But um, yes, I started to use obscene language and stuff. And on top of obscene language, I just have this natural thing in me that I used to diss people. So it used to be combined with with obscene language, right? Um. So what have I talk about? Well, the pornography. So I was introduced to pornography in form four. Now my grandmother tried her hardest best to keep our eyes. So I said, "Oh, I speak about my sister and I keep us out from being in the knowing of porn." And it was not something that I wanted to get into, or should I say, um desire to know anything I knew that what I knew is that one of the days that I'm, I believe that I was introduced to that in form four was that one of my she was my closest friend but we used to lie and we used to click because of the fact that we used to get some crazy kind of the same way so um this individual called me when they were watching something in the phone in the back of the class and was like come and see this so when i went and i saw it so my surprise was born of the like, oh but you know eventually i never liked watching porn but eventually it's like the loss and the curiosity and everything and then it came to the fact that even when i um i stopped um what was it after i stopped was it um after i finished school sorry i um i was still watching porn for some good few years um not as regular but it was like a real fight um so of course my mother don't know about this so if she listens we should be like <laughs> but i'm um, here yeah. but what i'm saying is that i have been involving quite a number of things that were not good but um if you listen to my testimony on um when i i decided to really serve christ which was in 2012 that was one year before i graduated even after i did that i repented and confessed and started taking communion for the first time or whatever I still was struggling with not the taxing because by that time, you see, when I hit form four in high school, that was before that. But I was in form four around um, twenty ten, somewhere around there. Certain things, I was like no more, no more fighting because that was gonna mess up my my name big in school. Because to be honest, most of the fighting. The I that I got into only one of them I got suspended so for sure one of them was recorded the rest of them I got away because my name would have been 
all over and the black book as they used to call it so whatever um but other than that um i was like no more fighting and the tax is a never so tax from four and four right so i was trying to be more on the academic side and the extracurricular i used to still be in my sports and activities but i wasn't like so much in front of things you know just all over the place right good and bad stuff so i said to people when i used to go to school used to ask me some friends i used to be talking to um what type of person are you are you a good girl or a bad girl it's like i'm in the middle <laughs> right so um but yes the cursing oh my gosh that has been a really, really struggle that's why the bible says live in the spirit that he will not fulfill the loss of the flesh because even though i it was easier to stop cursing from my mouth but in my mind that was a real struggle um and then well parties and all as as i done high school we had nothing like them kind of party jesus party my house enjoyment um yes the pornography and the cursing and the circular music was the three that I struggled with even after I will have repented. I've started to start in my journey in serving Christ. But it took me time, sacrifice, prayer, determination, and all of that to really, really come to the place that I am today that I wouldn't really listen to circular music. No. I see Christian people listening to circular music. What are we listening to circular music for? Are we missing something? Right? I don't listen to circular music anymore. Right? And what I'm I'm not talking to when I say about listening to circular music to the people who now come in Christ because it's gonna be a struggle. Right? It's not gonna be very easy. That's why Bible says to work out your own salvation. So you see you're working out your own salvation and um living in the spirit that's two messages i will have to do in the future in the near future to help you all who don't understand what it means by living in the spirit and um what's the other one i said work now your own salvation um so yes but um it has been body pornography I don't watch pornography, but you know, before I came on and make this video, I was thinking, well, that's not really watch like porn, but that's like a good fear to actually watch it. But you know, the devil is so tricky, eh? the devil doesn't leave you, you know. Um, the last time I actually saw a porn was um, probably a few months ago, and probably you'll be like, What? I thought you delivered from that. Let me tell you what happened. I was doing my normal business, went up on WhatsApp. Um, usually I don't watch WhatsApp statuses every day, but that night I decided to go through my contacts status and lo and behold, I came upon one where this woman was fully dressed and then all of a sudden, you know, these videos, then I was like, click and then the person just naked, just like that and then the sexual thing, you start like, oh my goodness, I just, so fast, I just think of that thing of it. Satan, mmm, Satan is just all over the place. Um, it's circular music. I'm a person I'm very much a lover of music and beats and you know. So that was a kind of struggle too. Like sometimes even when I'm going out and I hear some good beats, I just had to just try not to pay attention to try to zone out. There are times I would have my headset, not walk on the street. I don't walk on the street with a headset, but if I'm like in a vehicle, uh, my headset and those kind of thing um what's the other one and um well the cursing has really really in sometimes like inside has really really reduced significantly i can't remember the last time that happened but that's something that i um i think i still need to be really careful with yeah but other than that God has really helped me and I've come a long way. And actually, you know, this year is going to be, in August of this year, it's going to be nine years since I surrendered my life to Jesus. Thank you, Lord. It has not been easy, but God, through God, it has been 
good, you know, because of what I've gone through, like, you know, just knowing that God is so faithful and God is so good, and no matter what I'm going through, I know that He's able to keep me, like, just, I'm just talking from my experience, it's like, it really don't matter what I go through, as painful as it has been because I've went through some painful things even at the beginning of this year which will be a testimony I'll share soon I'm still here because of Jesus so you'll be blessed and um, take care I'll see you all again soon bye